What's going on, Johnson Wales University? This is Professor Brian Lavin checking in with you all from the College of Hospitality Management. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today as part of our ongoing series where we're sharing some insights and kind of things that are happening in the industry about tourism. I'm sure you guys all, when you think of tourism, think about taking a trip or going somewhere exotic or exploring a new culture, and tourism is absolutely all of those things. In addition to that, tourism happens right in your own backyard. And unfortunately, with the COVID-19 crisis and the state of the world right now with the ability to travel and kind of get out and welcome guests into our communities, tourism is taking a massive hit as an industry. Um, in fact, as travel is basically stopped entirely, I would go so far as to say that the tourism industry is completely decimated at this moment and we're looking for any sort of silver lining we can to kind of bring ourselves back out of the pandemic. So what I thought I would do is just offer you guys a couple of insights, in fact, three tips uh, that may be helpful for you as uh, you wanna break the boredom up and kind of get out of your house or your quarantine situation or at least get back to a little bit of normalcy while also supporting the tourism industry. Because if we all can do a little bit to support one of the largest industries in the world that is absolutely rocked right now, then we can be so much better on the other end when we can get back to traveling and exploring. So tip number one for you guys is shop local. And what I mean by shop local is get out into your community and make sure that you guys, if you have the ability to, are patronizing your favorite restaurant or going to your favorite coffee shop or swinging by that boutique that you always wanted to go to or even taking a tour in your own hometown. And to go a step further, maybe it's a staycation. Maybe there's an opportunity to stay at a hotel locally or stay in an Airbnb and look at your surroundings in a completely different way. This helps keep all of these businesses that visitors, when they come visit us, are so excited to go see and do and experience, keeps them able to keep their doors open, keeps the lights on, and allows some sort of income to be coming in at a time when we simply just don't have visitors coming in the door. The second thing that you can do is start to plan into the future. If you think about travel, you know, sometimes when we're booking a vacation, we're looking, you know, four months out or six months out or even a, a month out. I would argue uh, or suggest or offer to you guys that maybe planning out a year or two in advance might be the best way to do it. You can take advantage of deals that are happening in the industry now. And on top of that, you can help these businesses by getting at least some income in and guarantee of travel into the future. The third thing that you can do is contact your local tourism board. Usually the Convention and Visitors Bureau or the Destination Management Office within your destination, where, wherever you happen to may, may be, whether it's a city that's close by or your own town or a specific region that you're in, these folks are operating to help keep tourism alive in these particular destinations. As this is something that kind of affects all of us in a lot of different ways, they're gonna know because they have their pulse on the tourism community in that area area where the best places are to go, what activities are still running, how businesses have gotten very creative in offering their services in a completely different way that is safe and socially distanced and in accordance to any state and local guidelines that may be happening. The DMO can be your best friend when planning an event, when trying to put together a uh, gathering with friends, or even just for your own personal knowledge of what is acceptable in a destination from an event perspective or a dining out perspective or the like. Um, so I would encourage you to, to visit those websites and, um, and see all the really great and creative stuff that is going on. I think one of the silver linings, if there is a silver lining that comes out of this pandemic, is that the tourism industry is wildly resilient and very creative. It has been amazing to take a look at all the different businesses that are out there that are retooling what they're doing and redesigning how they go about creating an authentic visitor experience. And they're doing some really amazing stuff. Um, unfortunately, not everyone has been as uh, fortunate to be able to kind of shift and pivot and create uh, uh, some sort of new way to keep things going on, but we can all be part of the solution by actually uh, going out and patronizing these businesses. So with that being said, um, I hope that you guys uh, are staying safe. 
you're in the right place if you are studying hospitality management. This is gonna be an incredible field. When the industry comes back, which it will, this is an event-based disruption that we're looking at, demand for travel is still going to be there. And those of you guys that are studying uh, tourism management and hospitality management and all these other facets that fall out from underneath it are gonna be poised to be part of the solution and to help rebuild one of the best industries in the world. So be well, you guys, and I will see you around campus very soon.